Here is a thinking problem on length, midpoint and circle. This is a very good question and kind of difficult in this question bank. T1. The equation of a circle with center 0, 0 is x square plus y square equals to 20. The points P 2 comma minus 4 and Q 4 comma 2 are the end points of the chord PQ. AB right bisect the chord PQ at C. Verify that the center of the circle lies on the right bisector of the chord BQ. Have a good look at the problem, sketch your graph, right, and try to solve the problem. And then you can see my solution. See, uh, well, here is my solution. We already have the circle drawn here, and now Let's put the points and see, visualize the whole thing. The point P is 2 minus 4. That means 2 minus 4 is this point and we'll call this point as P. Point Q is 4, 2. That means X is 4 and the Y value is 2 and that is the point Q to us. Now, these are the end points of PQ. So let's join PQ. Okay, verify that the right bisector, that the center of the circle lies on the right bisector of chord PQ. That means we need to find the center of this, I mean, and then find the right bisector equation, and that equation should go through the center of the circle. That means kind of like this. Do you see that? This is what we need to verify. So how to go about? So one thing is, Let's find the midpoint of PQ first, right? So, okay, let's find midpoint of PQ. So midpoint of PQ, let me call that as MPQ, right? MPQ will be X1 plus X2 divided by 2 and Y1 plus Y2 divided by 2. So we'll write this as PQ is here. X1 plus X2 is 2 plus 4. Let me write first 2 plus 4 divided by 2 and y1 plus y2 is minus 4 plus 2 divided by 2, correct? Which gives us 4 plus 2 is 6, 6 divided by 2 is 3, and minus 4 plus 2 is minus 2, minus 2 divided by 2 is minus 1. So we get our midpoint, which is 3 comma minus 1. So that is our midpoint, correct? Now, we want to prove that the perpendicular bisector which goes through midpoint actually goes through the center kind of like this. Do you see this line going like this? We have to prove that this line which is a perpendicular bisector also goes through the center. This is what we need to prove. Okay. So what we will do now is we'll find the equation of perpendicular bisector, right? So let's find equation of perpendicular bisector of PQ. How are we going to do that? We know the point which is the center, so the perpendicular bisector will go through the center. Second, its slope will be negative reciprocal of the slope of PQ. So let's say small m PQ is the slope of PQ. So what is that going to be? That is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, correct? Now y2 is 2 and so we'll write 2 minus minus 4 y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. x2 is 4 minus 2, right? Which is 6 minus, which is 6 because 2 minus minus 4 will give us 6, right? And this is 2. So that gives us slope of 3, right? The slope of perpendicular line, let's call this m perpendicular line. That's a symbol for perpendicular should be negative reciprocal. So we'll say negative reciprocal is 1 over 3. Remember this thinking and communication problems you should write down the comments here because the lines are perpendicular therefore the slope will be negative reciprocal. I'm not writing all this but I'm saying it for you to make a note of it okay. In the test don't forget to give reasons for what you are doing right. It is a good practice to write out the formula first 
and then find the midpoint or the slope right so now m perpendicular slope of the line perpendicular to pq is minus 1 over 3 and we already know this point this point is m pq for us correct 3 minus 1 so we know slope and we know the point m pq which is 3 minus 1 so the line going through that will be y equals to mx plus b right that is the equation of line so we can write this as what is the y value y is minus 1 so minus 1 equals we are using this point x is 3 slope is minus 1 over 3 so slope is minus 1 over 3 x is 3 plus b right what did we use here we use the equation y equals to mx plus b right where what is x and y this is my x value and this is my y value and this is my slope okay now you can calculate for b from here right b you get as 3 times 3 3 divided by 3 is 1 so it's minus 1 it goes this side so we get minus 2 right so b, b becomes 0 sorry sorry so let me write this so now from here it is minus 1 equals this goes minus 1 plus b and therefore minus 1 goes this side and we get 0 equals to b so b is 0 therefore equation of this perpendicular line is y equals to slope is minus 1 over 3 minus 1 over 3 x and b is 0 plus 0 right minus 1 over 3 x as you can see point zero zero lies on this line correct if I put you can verify if x is 0 y will be 0 correct so if you test for the point origin which is 0 0 right if I plug it in here so y equals to minus 1 over 3 times 0 equals to 0 that means origin is on the right bisector of the chord PQ do you see that that is the proof so what we did here was we found the midpoint of the chord PQ then we found the slope of the chord PQ a line perpendicular to PQ should have negative reciprocal slope there it is slope of PQ was 3 negative reciprocal will be negative 1 over 3 using this slope and the midpoint 3 comma minus 1 we found equation of perpendicular bisector of pq right and that is the equation of perpendicular bisector of pq so basically what is this so therefore, therefore perpendicular bisector pq let me write qp goes through origin okay that is how it's going to be and we verified because the line is y equals to minus 1 over 3x and y intercept is origin 0 right that's how it is. I hope you understand. It's a very important pro problem. Go through it once again and try to understand. Thank you.